Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech, a quick look at Threadripper. Is it dead? Should you consider it? Should you buy something else? Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. I am recording this in April of 2022, and that detail is important because if you watch this three years from now, or magically somehow three years ago, the advice always changes. I have built each of the generations of Threadripper that has been commercially available. This machine here was originally built as a 1950X, later upgraded to a 2950X, and this computer here was built as a 3960X 24 core 48 thread Zen 2 based Threadripper. Very nice machines. We've added a lot of videos on these. We've used them for a variety of things, but they're really kind of beside the point now. Certainly, Zen 1 and Zen Plus based Threadrippers are really slow on a per core basis at this point, even if you can find them cheap. And the Zen 2 based Threadrippers, well, the 32 and 64 core chips might make sense to a very, very, very tiny percentage of people, but they're really expensive and they really just, they really don't make sense. Now, I'm an advocate of building a good premium computer that will last you for years. I've talked many times about the Ryzen 9 5900X, the Ryzen 9 5950X, the i7-12700K, the i9-12900K, all four of those CPUs, awesome. 100% recommend them. Different people should get different ones of those depending on whether you're upgrading AM4, whether you're already on Intel, whether you buy the 12 core or 16 cores, sort of not really within the scope of this video. But if you're thinking, man, I want to multitask, I want to run virtual machines, I want to do more stuff, shouldn't I get a Threadripper? The 24 core chip, what if I can get it for $1,200? What if I can get it for $1,000? That's not bad for a premium high-end machine with all those PCI Express lanes and quad channel RAM, right? Well, no, it's not. Even with 24 cores, consider that the 5950X provides 84% of the multi-threaded performance of the 24-core 3960X for half of the price. And that's being generous because right now you can get the 5950X for about $550 as I'm recording this. And to be blunt, you cannot buy a 3960X for $1,100. If you go on to eBay right now, because neither Amazon nor Newegg actually has these in stock anymore, if you go on to eBay, Thirteen, maybe fourteen hundred dollars is the going rate. Those of you playing the home game will note that's what they cost in 2019 when they launched. Buy CPUs when they launch. Yeah, they do drop in price. Granted, the Ryzen nines have gone on sale, but if you'd bought them almost two years ago when they first launched, you'd have had two years of use out of them, and it really isn't that big a deal if you got them for MSRP. The really big problem is that the Ryzen nine 5950X is substantially faster on a per core basis. So unless you're actually using more than 16 cores, the 5950X will beat the 3960X in all respects. So you need a very expensive TR4, uh, X, TR40X motherboard. You need quad channel RAM. You need a 1200 to $1,400 CPU for 16% more multi-threaded performance while having 20 to 30% less single core performance. Up to 16 cores, the 5950X is between 20 to 30% faster, depending on which benchmark you run and how you compare it. And that's taking into account the quad channel RAM, PCI Express lanes, and more. Until we get a consumer or retail release of Zen 3 based Threadripper, which at this point, why bother? Because Zen 4 is months, not years away at this point. Threadripper's kind of dead. Now, if you own one and you're sunk into it and you're using it, uh, you can keep it. But we didn't. We have these and we've replaced them. And we are now doing our video editing on a 5950X because the truth of the matter is it is way more responsive and the number of times that you need to go between 16 and 24 cores, and it makes all the difference in the world is minor. And even then, it's only about 14% faster, and yet it's 20 to 30% slower all the other times. Threadripper, 
was a cool idea when it first launched. Ryzen launched with eight cores. The Threadripper launched just a few months later with 16 cores. And the fact that you could buy 16 cores and 32 threads in 2017 for $1,000, when Intel wanted $1,800 for a 10 core chip, it was amazing. Times change, the world moves on. And that's why we have not seen a consumer release of Zen 3 Threadripper in 18 months since Zen 3 launched. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and uh, hopefully you found this interesting, informative, and useful, and we will see you in the next video. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.